Hello guys and welcome to the channel. So in our previous video, we discussed about the basic understanding of how face recognition algorithm works. And in this video, we are going to write a Python script for that. So face recognition is basically in two parts. First, when you train the model for the images you want computers to recognize. And in the second script, we will do inferencing on, on let's say a live video file or, or a webcam, USB webcam. So in this video, we are going to write a Python script to train our model. Uh, with the face images. So I have already downloaded the PyCharm. Uh, I'm using PyCharm as my Python IDE. You can use any uh, other IDE you want. And I'm going to create a new project. I'll name it as face recognition. And I have also downloaded the Python 3.6 version. You also need to install Python uh, in your system. And let's create this project. So for this project, for the face recognition project, uh, we are going to use a test video file which will have the persons in in the video. So let me show you the video file. So we are going to use, uh, we are going to inferencing on this particular video file. So you can see that there are four persons sitting and they are mostly side faces. So through this, we will see if our uh, script is going to detect the face, side faces or not. And uh, we are basically going to uh, train our model for only for two persons one is this person sitting in the middle and this particular person and so ideally after we run our script so these two persons should be able to recognize with their name and these three persons should show as unknown because we haven't trained our model for these persons so we are going to use this file what i have done is that i have already extracted uh, the images from this video so i've saved them in database file so you can see adam so i've saved these six images for this particular person and I have saved these six images for this particular person. So we are going to train only these two persons and uh, the rest of the persons we are not training. So ideally for them it will be shown as unknown and for these two person it will be shown as Adam and Matthew. So now talking about the project structure. So let me go into my directory where I have saved So this is the directory and uh, we will create a database folder here which will be base which will basically contains the name of all the person we are going to train so i will simply copy i'll simply copy that these three folders this is third folder is unknown folder which due to which it will be shown as unknown so let me paste it here And another one will be our models directory where we will save the model files for the face and the recognition. So I'll also copy that model. So this and this are the file for the face detection and this is the file for our uh, recognition. And this is the test video. So let me copy all and paste it. So all the models are in the models directory and the test video file I'm pasting outside it. Now we are going to create two script. One will be our training, training.py, through which we will train our model. Another one will be, um, let's say, recognize.py, which will recognize the persons. So all done, we have our project structure uh, made. So we have the database folder where all the person's name are present inside them are their face images. Uh, we have the models directory where all our models are present. And then we have the recognize.py and the test video and the training.py. So now in this video, we are going to start with the training.py and uh, let's write its script. So there are few packages which you need to install. For example, you first need numpy and uh, you obviously need uh, Python open CV as well. So for that op import CV too. you also need uh, SQL learn because this is what we are going to use for our uh, training purpose. So let me import that as well. You also need pickle because all the data we are going to save in our pickle file and you need import OS. 
so all the imports are done now let's start by getting the current path of our project directory so for that we'll you will use os.getcwd and now let's start by importing our face detection model and then the face recognition model so print i'll simply print loading face detection model now the face detection model has two files one is let me show you so one is this proto txt file and one is this cafe model file so let's import both so for this i'll use proto path and os dot path dot join current path because they are present in the model directory so i'll mention model and then the name of the file so let me copy the name in the same way we are going to do for our model file so i'll simply mention model path done so we have we have this and now let's create a face detector and we will make it as cv2.dnn dot read net from cafe so we have the face detection model we are using is the cafe model so we will proto txt file is proto path and uh, cafe model is our model path okay so we have loaded our face detection model now let's start by loading the face recognition model which is the open face we are using loading face recognition model so it only has one file so i'll simply mention recognize recognition model again the os.path.join current path it's also inside model directory and the name of its file so i will copy it done now i'll create a face recognizer and cv2.dnn dot read net from torch so this is basically a torch file it's not a cafe uh, model file so we are going to use this and i'll simply mention the model as recognition model so we have loaded our recognition as well now uh, so now we need to load our uh, database uh, which means all the images we have so i will mention database path os.path.join current path database so what basically we are going to do here is we will take one file each by each so let me show you so for example inside the database directory we have the adam directory and then this file so we are going to process each file we will extract its facial embeddings and then we will write it in a file pickle file so for this we need to we need to get the list of all the subdirectories and the files present in our this database file so let me quickly write a simple code for it so i'll create a list here this list will contain all the names of the files uh, i'll take a for loop and i'm going to use os.walk and the database path perfect so let me check if we have so let's run this code and see uh, what is the value of the file names so that just to validate if we have the correct code or not okay so you can see that uh, our file names now contains the path to the each file so 
inside Adam 1.png, then same 2.png, 3.png, and so on, which is good. Now, what